Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel, Cooking Go Wild. Today we are making Pigfoot gravy, yes. So, before we do get into the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video with your friends, your family, and yeah, let's get right into it. So to start off, the seasonings we use were seasoned salt, black pepper, Maggie cube, and garlic powder. And then we just added in some rosemary along with some water. And we're going to put this in the pressure cooker for about 13 minutes. So for this recipe, we're using three bell peppers and seven habanero peppers. As you can see right here, we're just dicing up the bell peppers. And for the habanero peppers, be aware that they are hot. So if you are doing this at home, you can use whatever amount works for you. So now we're just adding in all the bell peppers that we cut up along with the habaneros and you just want to put that in the blender. So next you want to cut up four onions and you can really just cut them any size you'd want. So you also just want to check on your pig feet in the pressure cooker just to make sure it's cooking well and it looks okay. So now we're going to pour some oil into the pot and just let that get hot for a little bit. So after the oil gets hot, we're just going to add in our onions and we're going to saute them for a couple minutes. So now you want to add in about three tablespoons of tomato paste into your onions and you're just going to want to mix that in really well. So after it's been cooking for a while, you really just want to add in your blended peppers into the pot little by little. You also want to add in the same seasonings that you use for the pig feet along with some basil leaf and some water from the pig feet that you boiled in the pressure cooker. So you just want to continue to keep stirring that really well 
You can also add in some more Maggie cubes to the mix. So next you want to just add in your pig feet from the pressure cooker and stir that in really well. Get it mixed, get all the sauce on it. So you want to continue to let that cook and sit for about 10 minutes until the water dissolves. And this is what it should look like when it's done. So once again, thank you guys for coming back to this channel. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let us know what else you want to see so we can keep just putting out great content for you guys.